Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm, take two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapter we have Psalms 105, 1. And it says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the people. So just having some good things happen and trusting in God. And seems like life is starting to maybe level out. Um, got some good things going on. So, all right, we're going to jump right into it. So let's start with the kit. Um, I got my Mary Maxwell kit last week. Y'all saw. Um, I attempted their pattern, and honestly, I didn't like it. Um, there was one stitch in there that made it all bubbly and cattywampus, and you, it was hard to get them even. And this thread that came with this, uh, or this yarn that came with this kit is this right here. It's beautiful. It is a cotton blend. It's soft. You know, as far as cotton goes, it's pretty soft. Um, problem is, is it's very splitty. So when you're trying to do complicated stitches, it literally was taking me forever. And I didn't get to the third round of that pattern. Well, I want it done by Christmas. And I want it, you know, for the Christmas season. So I made up my own pattern. <laughs> you know how it goes. I might look at a yarn and say, okay, that doesn't go for that for me. Um, so I made up my own pattern. I have gotten this far. I still have this much to do on this round. You can see it's just, but yeah. Um, I have only used two balls of the thread. I don't know how far this will get. I am hoping one of two things is going to happen. It's going to be big enough to cover our table. Okay, we have a round table, and that's what I kind of wanted it for for the holidays. Or I'm going to run out of thread. So I've got six more left. Um, I've used, I still have this much of the second one. Um, so I'm hoping to make it because now I'm not following the pattern. The pattern um, said it was going to be like 22 inches, and now by modifying it and changing it. I don't know that it will be, but who knows? Who knows? We'll see how it goes. Um, I do want it for the table though. <laughs> it's like, Oh no. All right. With that, um, when I ordered the kit, I also ordered some other yarns. Um, I have two ladies that I'm doing Christmas for at the office and it's not regular Christmas. Um, they, are a lot like me and think that Christmas has gotten too commercialized. And so I have made the red shawl and uh, that one, there's an idea behind it and I know who to give it to, to get it to the next person. And then I am making this shawl. Um, this is the lion's brand shawl on a ball. And, oh, you can kind of see it's got glitters through it. Okay. See that it's shiny. It's beautiful. And it's working up. It's just my go-to pattern, the virus type shawl. You know, I don't even know if I follow that pattern anymore because I was looking at somebody else's and I think they have three rows and I only do two. So it's just a go-to pattern that I guess I might have modified without thinking about it. Just do it. So, yeah, I got that one. Then I decided... I can't find my favorite head wrap, so I've decided, and when I say head wrap, I just mean um, almost like an infinity shawl or an infinity scarf that I wrap around my neck and then pull up over my head to keep my hair in place because, as you know, I have really frizzy flyaway hair, and the winter makes it worse. So I started this and it's super simple. Um, this is going to be the width. I'm going to make it as long as this ball will allow. Hopefully that'll give me two twists on my head and I am doing it kind of loose so that it'll, you know, yeah. and it is the gray looking one and these sparkles in this one. Um, I now see why they call it the opaque. The sparkles in this one, 
have like greens and pinks and um, it's just it's got just enough pop of color but not really so um, yeah it is what it is <laughs> but I started that one and it's Tunisian okay so it's just a Tunisian double crochet um, and it's really loose I am using a bigger hook than they said so that it would be loose um, the reason that it's loose is you can scrunch it together or you can pull it out, you know, and have more um, coverage with it and it will look fine. So basically I'll make a big old long rectangle and then I'll sew the two ends together uh, and that one will be done. Again, as however far that ball of yarn goes is how big my... Um, scarf or head scarf or head wrap or whatever it will be okay so uh the other thing that i did was i picked back up my sweater all right so i got back to work on this one and i am actually done with if i can find my end here there it is Oops. pulled out a stitch that's okay so i'm done with my decreases and increases um, I am to the 10 rows of standard and then I'm going to sew it up just not sew it up I'm going to pin it so how I do things to make sure that they're going to fit where I want them to fit and do what I want them to do is I take safety pins and safety pin them at matched rows front and back because I have the back done or the front, I don't remember. And see, I have my pattern here and I know what I want it to look like, but I haven't figured out how many rows I'm going to be doing. So I know in inches what I'm going to be doing. So I've got my section here. This is either the front or the back. I'm about to pull out another stitch. This one has the 10 rows up the top done. This one does not, but then I will pin them and I have stitch markers where my increases just stopped and you can see um, right here. And so I've still got, now that you can see that, still got, you know, quite a few rows to go. Uh, but then I'll pin it together and I'll put it on and I will decide and I'll start making, I will make the back because it's flat and that will gauge my um, and I'll do it with them pinned together. I will crochet across the back and make the um, back. Then I'm going to start fussing with the front here and figure out what I want to do. So, um, yeah, it's getting there and I'm hoping to have it worked on some more and make some more progress and all that good stuff. So, yeah, I've been working on all of those. Then, um, I also, I have so many that I'm sharing bags. I didn't even go in the room and get the other bag. So I've been just putting these two in here. Uh, I am working on Christmas. I uh, have the rope can that I'm going to make for RJ. It may be put on hold because he needs a travel um, personal bag more than he needs another rope can. So, um, he, uh, I started working on it. I have it all squared up. I had to get a zipper this weekend, but I don't have it in yet. I've got my daughter's done. Her boyfriend's done. I've got RJ's girlfriend's done. I've got roommate's mom's done. Um, and I've got, I've got to finish working on the eggs that I'm giving with them the Christmas ornament eggs so um, yeah I've got those to get done and then when I finish these two shawls uh, I already got the one done but if I get that brown one done then I am almost done with Christmas I just have to figure out roommate that blanket um, is the only other thing I have that I'm working on and it's kind of been put on the back burner because I need to get Christmas done and I thought I'd give it to roommate for Christmas, but I don't know. I, I don't know. I gave roommate the first year that we were here. Um, we hadn't been here but very long. And I made a sampler blanket 
for Christmas for roommate. And then last year I made the sweater like I'm kind of making mine this year. Um, roommates was button up and stuff and you can put it on and leave it open or, you know, uh, I did that one. So I don't know that I want to do another blanket for roommate, but roommate does not need clothes. Trust me. Okay. So, um, and roommate's not a hat and scarf kind of person. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. I might actually break down and, and find something usable for the house or something. Who knows? I think that's really all I have that I'm working on. I don't have anything finished. I hope to be making progress on them um, this week. So we'll see what it brings. Um, let's see here. I don't have anything on the wheel, the dye pots. I finished all the dyeing that I did last week, and you guys saw that, or week before last. I can't remember. Um in the fields, RJ's world and in the farmhouse. Um, so in the fields, I've been using my planta, um, app. I talked to you guys about that and I've got the plants are looking good. So, uh, I don't know. Um, I had to water. I put my sage on it too from outside because it was kind of looking. So I put it in here and started a third spot so that it's at, you know, the porch. And today, I've got to water a couple of spider plants. That's it. That's it. Um, I am noticing in the app that the spider plants, the ones that it makes me water more are the terracotta pot ones. And I know it's because it sucks the moisture out of them. And I was watering some of the terracotta pot ones same day as I did the others. And I am noticing that that is, you know, so, um, I do have to water two of them at the office and little spider plants that, um, daughter and heart gave me. So, and that's my only chores on there, but all the plants are looking good. And so I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> um, not that they were looking bad before I did invest in a spray bottle so I can miss them and I, they, they are getting misted a little bit now. So that's a good thing. They love humidity. So, um, yeah, I've done that. Then, uh, in the farmhouse, all right, I probably should do RJ's world first. Okay. So we are selling the big trailer. It has served its purpose. And because of gas prices and the way things are, it's just not being pulled as much as it should. Uh, probably hasn't been used in about eight months, nine months. And that's a payment I don't need if we're not going to use it. Uh, idealistically, I was thinking that would be the last trailer I buy. If I have grandkids, you know, cause it's got enough room for horses. RJ was hauling three and four horses at a time. Um, we had a stall with the stuff in and then we had, you know, uh, but realistically, you know, you notice it idealistically, realistically, it is sitting there and my tires are dry riding, rotting off. So it's not any worse for wear other than the tires, but it's just not serving its purpose. So I'm going to get rid of that payment. Uh, the lady was supposed to come yesterday and she called and said that her mother had COVID or something. So she's not coming down till later this week. Um, RJ has another buyer lined up to look at it. Um, if she doesn't come down Thursday, um, it's kind of been this back and forth thing. And well, I have to come from Louisiana is her excuse, which I get that, but that's her choice. Um, there's a local buyer right here that wants it if she doesn't. So, um, <clears throat> the only problem is, is that RJ had already talked to her and said, okay, I'll wait till Thursday. He said this time, if she doesn't come by Thursday, she, he's going to have the other ones come and look at it and uh, go from there. So it's still up for sale and got potential buyers on the line kind of thing. So that's been going on. And then other than that, the weather has gotten cooler. And I think that Miss Jones hit it on the nose when she said that 
the heat just doesn't inspire her. And I do think that that's part of my problem because it has changed. The weather, it's like 85 degrees or less. Right now it's 52 degrees outside. It was um, <clears throat> 50 some yesterday morning, 50 some all this week and in the 80s. So I'm definitely getting that done, you know. So I, I am going to get all of these done. And I want them done for the holidays. So uh, the only one that I might put on the back burner, if I have to, if I just run out of time, is the big sweater. So, uh, but the other shawl, well, and my head wrap might be put on hold. The other two I want done for Christmas. So, uh, and the shawl, we all know I can sit. If I just sit down and do it, I could have it done in about three hours. So, um, that one not a big deal, but they'll get done. And I have decided that I am not, I'm supposed to be getting my kit. I got noticed that the October kit was sent out because I kind of joined in the middle of the month, you know? And so I got the September one right off. And then the October one is already shipped and coming. So yeah, I'm going to have another project and hopefully this sounds terrible. Hopefully it won't be want, it won't be something I just want to jump right in and start. I want to get these things done first. So. All right. The other thing that we have done is roommate and I, if you remember, we um, cleaned up the back room. The door was replaced. We still don't have a screen door on it, but with the colder weather, when they replaced the door, they had to take a big chunk out of the concrete to make it fit in there. We went and got some quick right. I had a towel down there because the gap was like this and it was honestly, you could see, you know, so we had to repair the floor in there and we just went and got some quick concrete or quick ready anyway. And we've done that. Uh, it is curing and I do have a videotape of it and I will put it in, uh, not a videotape. You can tell I'm old school. I have a video on my phone. I will put it in right here. All right. So if you remember this back room, I got it cleaned out. We've had the door replaced. Um, the one thing that with replacing the door was that it didn't seal up. I literally had this big towel down there um keeping the rain out and all of that stuff so uh now we've gone and got we just went and got some of that quick concrete or quick right i don't remember what it's called but anyway we put it in there to fill that big gap and then we just pulled back carpet we'll put the carpet back up there as soon as it dries um i think it takes two days to dry and cure and set up you know so um yeah, we're okay with that. That's our little project for the house this week. Okay, so you saw the back floor being done. And then we're just going to flip the old carpet right back over it. We're not ready to carpet the house yet. So flip back over it. That will cut the draft. That will seal up that door. And last year, if you remember, it got so cold that I put a big comforter over it, packed it up there, and tucked it all in and cut the draft that way because it was so horrible. This year, we have a new door. Yay! <laughs> little things. It's the little things. Um, there is no heat or air uh, AC pipe back into that room. So whatever temperature is it is outside, that's what it is in there. So um, it is what it is. You know, it's either cold or hot to do laundry, but pretty much it it serves its purpose and there really is no reason to heat it or cool it because we don't have stuff. It's not open to the house. Um, it's literally the vacuum, uh, our wood rack, um, which we have been talking about, um, our getting wood, you know, cutting wood for the winter, uh, might be doing that again. We will be doing that again. <laughs> we love the wood burning stove. Um, it puts out a good heat. It is just amazing. Cuts our heating bills, of course, which we like that. 
Um, so yeah, we will be doing that again. Then let's see what uh, we have a plan for this weekend because it's supposed to be super nice out. And you guys know that I have been cleaning on the pond. Well, there's two things actually I still have to do. So anyway, we're going to go down and we're taking the chainsaw and we are cutting down some of the smaller trees and we're taking out a little bit of brush on the side. Two big spots that really drop a lot of limbs and are horrible. So we will be taking those out and just dragging the logs to the brush pile. And then when it rains, we will be out there burning quite a bit of stuff. So we'll have a big bonfire. I might call the kids and say, hey, come down and we're going to do a bonfire and uh, see if um, they want to come down. And it'll be too hot to roast weenies on, but I'll make some dinner and they can help, you know, with a flamethrower and stuff. So there's that. But there's another reason we want to clean out. You know, we've been working on it, but we are down to one duck. I feel bad. Um, whatever got the duck this time just took it and left. I think the neighbor's dog took it. Um, can't prove it. It irritates me that people don't teach their dogs or cats or whatever to respect other wildlife. Okay. Dogs are not a fend for themselves kind of thing. They should be fed. You know, they're, they're pets, they're domestic dogs and they should be fed. So in a way that they don't see my ducks as food. We've had farm dogs with chickens and ducks and turkeys and all of that. And never have we had one that killed chickens. Okay. Carl and Wilbur, if you remember them, they like to chase them and they got put in the pen a lot for that. But I think they were just playing with it and they never killed one. Never killed one. So it is what it is. If they aren't hungry, they shouldn't be seeing other things as food. They shouldn't just be killing randomly. Um, they should be maintained and well-trained dogs. So, especially if you're going to turn your dog loose to just run them up, you know? So anyway, we are down to one duck. I don't know what's going to happen with that. Um, I feel bad for him. We are going to get out there and clean out, you know, so that he's got open space. Uh, the night that the, black duck was taken. Um, a coon got the white one. We found the remains, found the feathers, you know, um, the night the black duck was taken, I had gone to a women's retreat. Um, it was it, a woman's conference. I think they called it, but it was women empowering women. And it was through a friend of mine's church and it was amazing. Um, but when I came home, I pulled in the driveway. They were up away from the pond. And so I was pretty sure something was down the pond or they sent some, I don't know. They only bedded down out in the pasture when there was something around the pond. So, uh, I let them bed down. They were, I could see them went out, checked them several times. They were fine. The next morning he was gone and I did not check after like, 1130. Um, so I don't know if it got it early morning or late at night. Don't really know. But anyway, my poor ducks. I love ducks, but dang, I just, I can't have them because they're going to get killed. That's, that's the bottom line is, um, so we're going to, uh, clean out the pond, make it good for a little duck that's down there and that is our next weekend thing so I'll take some video of that and, and I'll get some before and afters um, I haven't always done that with that pond but uh, the pond is going down so that it's we're in drought conditions and it is going way down but the <coughs> if we get the trees out of there it might dry up a little bit but it's still very soggy it's like a sooty bottom um, like a cleachy mud. Um, so you can't really step on it, but I think if we get the other trees out of there and get the sunlight in there, it would get to where I could 
it would harden up a little bit and I could go and clean around. So, yeah, we're going to do that this weekend. And because I don't want it to rain, I want to have the opportunity to get that done with no rain um, and with the pond being as low as it is. So, yeah. Anyway, that's the plan for this weekend. You've seen all my projects. I'm going to get off here and get ready for work. And, uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time. And as always, God bless. I'll say a prayer for y'all, and thanks for watching. Bye.